It's cool, Kim. 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 What's up, family? It's your friendly neighborhood fly guy, Cool Kim, and this is your morning motivation, right? So check it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday I did my morning motivation, and Cash was like, "Yo, son, your barbershop open was good." I'm like, "Nah, son, my barbershop ain't open. I'm my barber. You heard? I've been my barber for years. I mean, it turns out that I actually was a barber at some point in my life, so." That doesn't hurt, you know what I'm saying? But nah, son, I've been my barber for years and years. Every now and then, I go to the barber shop to get a professional. You understand? So you get your professional and you get them packed. You know what I'm saying? Like then you, then you know, you you go you out, you go outside, ready for real, for real. And then for about a month or two, I can maintain my professional. You know what I'm saying? Myself in the house. With simple tools, so like in this case, I can uh, you know I just keep the line sharp using one of these. It's an eyebrow, whatever you call it, little eyebrow comb or eyebrow razor. And so I use this to really just refine my line because my um, clip my um, outliners don't don't be doing me right all the time. You know what I'm saying? But of course, <clears throat> it doesn't change the fact that, like I said. Outliners, you know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> so, I did not do the morning motivation today to show y'all how wonderfully I shade. With the morning motivation today is more about being resourceful. Yo, we're gonna learn the difference between riches and resourceful in a minute, fam. Like, what's the real difference between cats that just got money and cats that are rich in resourcefulness, is rich in ingenuity, uh, sensibility, practicality, all of those things. We're going to find out where the real richness lies. <clears throat> if this continues to go on, eventually money ain't going to be able to buy you certain things. You understand what I'm saying? Because, <clears throat> excuse me, people ain't going to want to be around you, ain't going to rock with you, ain't going to want to know what you're talking about, none of that, because you're going to be distanced. So the more things you know how to do for yourself, the better you're going to be. And truth be known, man, that's really the goal, to be able to do as much for yourself, to be self-sufficient, so that you don't have to worry about these kind of things happening. Because for me, to be honest with you, my life is exactly the same as it was before this pandemic stuff started. Exactly. I'm not doing anything different at all. You understand? The only thing I really can't do right now that I would like to do is play pickleball with a clear mind. Like, I played it the other day. I felt a little bad because... I felt like I was setting a poor example with somebody that people look to as for an example. So I was like, eh. Plus, I just started getting uncomfortable with the notion that this thing is out here, kid. You heard? Right? But it's all about being resourceful, fam. It's not. And it ain't about being perfect, son. I ain't trying to come out with no award winning haircut. I just want to look decent. So when I get on my little joints, you know what I'm saying? I ain't looking like a bum. Looking like I don't love myself, you know what I mean? So as long as I could do that, you know what I'm saying? Try to conceal how this joint receding over here, you know what I'm saying? Try to, try to conceal and recede the waters with a phantom hairline, I'd be alright. You know, the point of all what I'm saying though to you is to be resourceful, to start thinking in them terms. So yo, fam, listen, this is what I want y'all to do. This is y'all assignment real quick. I want you to start going on YouTube today. Watching the videos, <clears throat> like, you know, how to build a fire. Like, a lot of people would be surprised on how to build a fire. Hint, if you got Doritos, it's easy. Um, you know, uh, you know, don't know how to collect water. It may become, it may come to that. You know what I'm saying? What if services get cut off? How do you collect water? What are you going to do? Make minor repairs in your home and in your apartment. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should be able to do those things so that you don't have to have outside people come into your home and bring in potential disease, virus, or just unnecessary energy. You know what I'm saying? Learn learn how to cook. If you don't know how to cook, good. learn how to cook. Make some five-minute meals, ten-minute meals. You know, how to make food in bulk because you may find yourself in a situation where you're feeding more than just your family because the community situation re requires it. You never know. You know what I'm saying? You may be, you never know. So since we never know, let's function in a very safe and secure fashion, all right? So with all that being said, man, I just want you to think about resourcefulness. 
How resourceful are you? <clears throat> how 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 much can you do with your own two hands? You know what I'm saying? How much can you fix? How much can you build? What can you till? What can you grow? What can you destroy and displace? Think about those things and then apply it to the situation to get yourself game ready. Because if the revolution happened like everybody be talking, I mean, it's really ready. You heard? All right, shout out to your friendly neighborhood fly guy, Cool Kim. And I got to get it. Peace.